Welcome back everybody. Part two here for some Amazonian goodness. I have my packages here that I got from Amazon. As so happens, I placed another order uh, tonight, but a lot of it's going to be spread out. There's some a uh, couple pre-orders that I have going, so those are going to trickle in over time. Uh, I may accumulate them for a batch to do my next video, but uh, at least for the time being. I've got a, two packages here that came in. One the way it's packaged in a box might be interesting. We'll see. I've never seen Amazon actually ship anything quite like this. So that'll be fascinating. But we're going to start with an envelope here first. And of course, there's Sugar. There she slides through. Little kitty, you want to say hi to everybody again? Because he just, this, soon I started filming last time, here you are. You pop in every single time. Uh, like you're psychic or something. Maybe you hear me talking, huh? Is that how that goes? What are you doing? You're not shy, huh? You want to say hi to everybody? Come up, hey. Silly girl. Huh? She's usually much more reserved, but I think when she hears me talking, she gets excited. Maybe she thinks I'm talking to her. I don't know. But you're here for movies, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that good stuff. So we're going to open up this bag and see what's inside. First and foremost, grabbing it random. Ooh, that's a glossy slipcover. 4K of Megan. This is the uh, unrated edition. Ooh, look, out, look at that shine there. Ooh, -ee. glossy. Megan was an interesting one, kind of like a, almost like an updated child's play in a sense. But I dig that one. I had a lot of fun, fun with Megan. I didn't get to see the theater, unfortunately. I intended to, but I didn't quite make it. Oh, uh, let's see, another 4K. I've been intending to pick this movie up for several years now, and it's been even longer since I've seen it. Universally loved, as far as I'm aware, 4K of... Leon, the professional. Good, good stuff. Natalie Portman's breakout role. Maybe even her first. I'm not entirely sure about that. And if anybody else does, let me know because I will forget to look it up before I have finished recording this. Oh, well, let's see here. What else do we have? Let me get out the bag here. We have Volume 3 Blu ray of. The Looney Tunes, Collector's Choice. I've been picking these up as they come out and come out at a good price. Um, I've been happy to revisit some of my childhood cartoons I've grown up with, but if I'm not mistaken, we have yet to see any Marvin the Martian, who's my personal favorite, uh, make any appearances yet, and um, that makes me sad. Who is going to blow up the Earth? I need Marvin! Come on, Warner Brothers, give me some Marvin, please. I deserve it. Please. I mean, my only DVD of this haul. I don't do very many DVDs when it comes to movies, only when I don't have any other option. But um, if any of you noticed when I've mentioned in my other videos, I have a penchant for Mr. Alexandre Dumas and uh, been following picking up some classic films based on his novels. This one's from 1940. It's another version or adaptation of The Count of Monte Cristo. This one is The Son of Monte Cristo. I also have, I believe, The Wife of Monte Cristo and The Secret of Monte Cristo. But uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of movies and spin-offs and so forth and so on that are based on that material. Love the novel. It's an absolute masterpiece for anybody who has not read it and you like long, epic, thousand-page novels. I couldn't recommend it more. Okay, so let's uh, dive into this sucker and see what's going on here. Let me let that free. Hi, kitty. Okay, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. I think I got, ow, damn, something bit me. <clears throat> okay, it's okay, kitty, don't panic. <sighs> oh, Jesus, okay, it was way down there. This is an interesting package. Old oh boy, this is the original version. 
This is, uh, feels like a brick. This thing is seriously some solid packaging. I don't know what this material is. I don't know if you can make it out on this. It's like, uh, almost feels like a fabric. If anybody has purchased or seen the Criterion Collections release of um, The Princess Bride, it comes in the, like a digi book and it's got a very similar looking, feeling material to it. But let me see, this is kind of fascinating how this thing is going to open up once I'm out of the plastic because it's got this big gap here. I don't know. I can't tell. This looks like it just slides out, but it will probably be by the feel of texture there. <laughs> Drive by. Um, yeah, I'm talking to you. This might be a, another digi book inside the sleeve, but there's a lot of space in there, but it doesn't flop around. So I don't know if there's another book or if it's going to be like a trifold kind of thing. I haven't seen this movie in a very, very long time. It's like it's two disc set 4k and blu-ray but one's 4k has got the movie looks like the blu-rays extra bonus features and such looks like it's pretty heavily laden with special features on both discs wow okay yeah this um not easy to find this movie and as far as I can tell, there's been no, like, standard releases. This is about it. It's not cheap. Usually uh, retailing in the neighborhood of about $55. I think I got it for about 35 I think. I bought a brief sale on it and uh, swooped on it. Because the last time I saw that happen, it was, it was gone, boom, before I could even act. So, yeah. I don't remember the significance of the octopus in the film, if anybody else does. Because I probably won't get to watching this for a while. So... If you've seen this movie and you remember that significance, comment in the in the comment section there. Let me know because very very curious. But aside from all that, that's it. That is um, the last of what I have for tonight, and um, I'll get these all put together and put out for you uh, once again. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for allowing me to share my purchasing my collecting with you. I appreciate your time and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Good night.